peer address assignment. Uh, in, net uh, in network, there is two ways that you can use to assign IP address. The first way is manual assignment. In manual assignment, administrator is responsible for assigning those IP addresses to the web devices. So, uh, administrator will assign IP address to every device in the network. So, a uh, manual assignment may lead to IP conflict. IP conflict happens when the, the single IP address is assigned to more than one device. So when the devices they, they boot up, they found that they are using the same IP address, so it may lead to IP IP conflict. So the second way that it, it, you can use to assign IP address is called DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And the, today we are going to see uh, much on DHCP. So DHCP automates the process of uh, assigning IP address to all the devices. So using of uh, Using of IP uh, dynamic host um, configuration protocol will, will eliminate the problem that may be caused by, uh, by, by manual, manual assignment, example IP address conflict. So IP address conflict will not, uh, will not exist in the HTTP because all IP addresses are assigned automatically. So if the, if the IP address is assigned, therefore it will move to the IP address pool in the HTTP server. So, uh, in Huawei, there is two ways that he, uh, that is used to configure the HCP. Uh, the first way is called uh, interface mode, and the second way is uh, the HCP pool mode. So interface mode, um, this uh, this uh, uh, this way of configuring the HCP, it means that the, uh, the HCP server is configured to a specific interface. So all all hosts or all, all nodes that are connected to that interface will be provided with the net uh, with, I, I, with IP addresses of that interface. But in a DHCP uh, DHCP pool mode, uh, we we, are, we we create the DHCP pool to the uh, system view, and then we associate that DHCP pool to all interface that we need to be provided with IP address. So today we are going to also see um, DHCP because the DHCP uh, uh, interface we see it in, um, in another class so today we are going to see DHCP, DHCP pool. So this is our network. There is two buildings, building one and building two and uh, each, each building has number of uh, um, number of PCs so that means assigning this IP uh, this uh, this nodes with manual assignment it may lead to those those problems. So to avoid that we are going to use the DHCP. So building one, it needs to be provided with this IP address in this range, and the building two also, it needs IP address from the from this range. So all of these uh, devices are connected through switches, which 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 manage the assignment also, and uh, this switch is connected to Giga 0001, 000 of uh, the HP server. That means this switch it uses a default configuration. That means we 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 are, we are going. We are not going to configure any anything in these switches, so we we'll, we we'll let it leave it as it, as it is. So um, for the for, for the case of DHCP, first of all we have we need to have gateway. The gateway is a um, is a is a point that these devices will will use to to get out from their their uh, their home network. So in a, uh, when we configure DHCP, we, one of the requirement we need to have yeah, to have gateway. Also, we need to have network network address that that is used to to provide those IP address. So, okay, uh, to to go, let's say open this. Now this is our console. Let's name it Internet so, uh, to System View. Name System Name DHCP Server. Okay. Then, as as you, as you can see, uh, this network. This LAN is connected to Giga 000. So we are going to assign the gateway to that to, to this uh, to this interface. So enter to interface view interface Giga 000. Then assign IP address 192.168.51.24. Is a subnet mask. Then display interface belief. Uh, as you can see now the interface is up because it is senses it senses that it is connected physical with the cable. So we're going to create a DHCP pool. DHCP pool uh, uh, it's a um, uh, it's a place that it, it has uh, a pool of IP address. 
many many uh, the, those IP addresses that are that they're going to be provided to host it is going to be stored there. So quit IP pool name let's say uh, client 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 oh sorry not name is people client client so this is the name of IP IP pool which is people because there is uh, there is possibility of having more than one IP pool so having a, a unique name that means it differentiate that pool from the other so my uh, my my pool is called client in, in client the network the network that is going to to be it's one to two one sixty eight fifty zero and the mask mask is twenty four then gateway 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 list one into two one sixty eight zero one not zero one fifty one okay now we are done therefore because this is uh when you when you when, when you say display kind configuration you, you can see now this is my ip pool and these are the configuration that are, um, are configured this pool so we need to associate this ip pool to the interface to that interface that is need to, that is used to, to assign ip address so my interface is giga 000 so i'm going to associate the ip pool to this to this interface first inter interface view interface giga 000 then okay before before that enable the hcp the hcp enable enable the hcp first then enter to the here to the interface view then say dhcp select of only when you say select there is two uh, two mode as i said the first one is global the second is the interface and the third is, is relay global it means that the uh, ip pool is configured globally so it can be associated to more than one interface but interface mode uh, only that interface is uh, is assigning IP address to to those clients that are connected to that interface. But in relay, this is mode of uh, of DHCP that involves when maybe uh, the client and the DHCP server are located in two different broadcasting domains. So we need to, to to create a relay so that it can so that to to enable the communication between the the DHCP client and the DHCP server. So here we select we select global. Select global, yeah. Then it done. After there, quit, quit. Okay. <clears throat> now go to the to the to the devices. Then click here. See, say DHCP. Okay. Then apply. Okay. Then look, um, command. IP check check IP address uh, configuration if it is provided. IP config. Yeah, as you can see now, this IP, uh, this device has already the IP address provided with this uh, network address. So this is a gateway that is configured to the uh, on the router, and this is IP address that is provided by the HP server. Uh, and this is a mask, and this is a MAC address, the physical address. Also, go to the PC3, see the uh, see, see the configuration before configuring the HP. Say IP config. You can see oh there is no configuration yet now also for this uh, for this the uh, pc to get ip address then change from static to the hcp then go to configuration again we config okay sorry now okay i forget to to apply okay after change the mode from static to the hcp then you say apply then after see now you can see this is this is our, our ip configuration oh, 